how to sit on that. I don't have a bum. And cue rubbish. All right, guys, it's me, Rabbish. Hey, he's a lad. I'm the one you've been waiting for, and I'm here to work. Look at all the different colours. Yeah. Green, red, blue, yellow. Number one. Talk dirty to me. Cleaning up. That's what I do best. Cleaning up. Cleaning up, like getting lots of awards. I'm here to pick up litter, or as some like to call it. Talk dirty to me. Garbage. Garbage the band. Tidy. Talk dirty to me. There might be loads of bins on your street, but at the end of the day, we're all solo. Each of us meant for different things. So solo, you might have been in a band. But who am I? Well, that's Overture You to decide. Overture You. Overture. Tonight, I'm going to have a really good time. Pop this in there. It's just a page of Jonathan's jokes. The, um... We cycle, we cycle, we cycle. <laughs> I'm going to come to you first. Uh, I loved it. It was a great performance, great fun, loads of energy. But <laughs> I don't think necessarily a professional singer. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's someone with so much enthusiasm, really got the crowd going. Could it be someone famous for cleaning up, like Dean Gaffney in East End? <laughs> Davina, I'm going to come to you next. I was looking at the different colours, red, green, blue, yellow, and I was thinking, oh, there's four guys in blue, and then I was thinking, what's in a rubbish thing? There's cups, and then I was thinking, who makes cups of coffee? And then I was thinking, Anthony Costa. <laughs> I know, it's tenuous. That was quite an emotional journey we all went on there, wasn't it? <laughs> Mo, what are you thinking? I've seen the clues with the Olympic rings, because if you've seen the bins, they was all different colours. Yeah. And then it was number one. I'm thinking if you're cyclist, like, number one, this is someone that's cleaned up a lot in terms of won a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking it could be Sir Chris Hoy. Ooh. Also, cycle, recycle. Yeah. That's another... Yeah. It's a very good idea to hide his thighs, cos we'd all yeah. guess <laughs> it. <laughs> that's true. Rita. <laughs> 
You're giving me proper, like, lad British, out for a night energy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So the person I thought of, God, I wish it is you, because just kind of, I love you. I thought Goldie. OK, it's time to play a Riddle Me This, because if you uh, want a clue, you're going to have to work for it, people. Uh, give us a little riddle, please. Inside of my bin is trash I'm compiling. As a person, I'm happy, but you won't see me smiling. Oh. Can I have another guess? You can have another guess, Another Mo. cyclist. Um, I didn't say. It could be Sir Bradley Wiggins, because um, he would do Tour de France to get a yellow jersey, and that could be what the gloves no, are. No, no, no. There's no way. But I do think he might have something good there, Davina, with the blue. You know, it's I mean... It's a cyclist. How Lee, are we not getting this? You've got Donk Simon. Wheels! He's got wheels on the back! Two wheels! Simon Why is Webb. no one listening to me? <laughs> Can you decipher what the clue is, guys? No. No. No, you can't. We'll only see who's been getting down in this dump when the mask comes off. Give it up for rubbish, everybody. Come on, love rubbish. Are the panel trash talking with their guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? I really enjoyed that. The atmosphere was banging. This bin is rocking, mate. Last time, I went head to head with a pigeon. So come on, let me and those guesses are all worthy of a place in my bin. Goldie. Dean Gaffney. Sir Chris Hoy. Anthony Costa. I might be a bin, but you can't take me out that easy. Take me out. Take me out. Oh. You're asking, what's your angle? Well, going green is important to me. So green must be a colour, like he is green. It's amazing what you can find thrown out among the rubbish. I wanna be trash. This brings back your memories. Learn everything I know by copying what I saw on here. Oh, on TV. Maybe learn how to act. There's no such thing as junk, though because lots of things can be recycled. Yeah. It's about reusing. Oh, Formula One car. Oh, Ooh, racing driver. You can do it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. That's right. You heard me. To have a You've been framed. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Tonight, you'll be asking, where have I been all your life? Get ready for this dump star to hit the stage.
much, everyone. That was so good. Oh, I love, love the bees. I love the bees. He was the bees' knees. Who wants to go first? I'll go first if you want. Jonathan, you know go. What? You might be rubbish in the way you dress, but you're not rubbish in the way you perform, because that was a lot of fun. Come on. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. But in the clue package, it mentioned angles, and you also there were frames at the end, and angles are something that you get in gymnastics, and I wonder whether it is someone from the world of gymnastics. I noticed also the TV. What was showing on the TV? Can you remember what was on the TV? Fuzz. Static. Static. Static is another term for a division of gymnastics. Is it? Something? Yes. And I'm going to guess that it is UK gold winner Max Whitlock yeah. in there. Later. Oh! That would be amazing. That's who I think it might be. I thought we tried a good guess. You were, I was going to steal it, but I decided to... I mean, I, well, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. I went down this whole route of the TV thing, and then I saw that there was a car, and that obviously led me to thinking, OK, Top Gear, you know what I mean? And then I thought, Paddy McGuinness. Yeah. Paddy McGuinness, is it? Because the bin said, you might take me out. Yeah, I thought, oh, yes. that could be another clue. Oh, that's a good guess, could that. Could be Peter. Big Patty in there. Davina McCall. So there was a lot about recycling and reusing, and you feel passionate about not just throwing things away, nothing is rubbish. And I thought about a lovely show that's also all about trying to make good things that other people might throw away. It's called The Repair Shop. So I'm going to go with Jay Blades. Okay. Jay Blades, good job. Um, Mo, what are you thinking? <laughs> there was a, a few more clues that keep pointing me in the same direction as a few weeks ago, because obviously we've seen the, the clues of the Olympic rings, and then there was the um, there was a photo frame. So I thought possibly if it's a cyclist, they maybe won one of their one of their medals or achievement could have been like a photo framed finish. And I think it's uh, Chris Hoy. That's what I think it is. Okay. It's uh, Chris Hoy. Okay, Mo. Yeah. Do you want another clue? Yes. yes. On, OK, it's time to play Clue or False. Rubbish is going to give you two clues in the form of a rumour heard at a festival. <gasps> you just have to figure out which one's clue and which one is false. Okay. okay. Clue number one, rubbish. The rumour is that I've been celebrated for my youth. Okay. OK. And clue number two? Did you hear what they said? I only got a medal when I spoke up. Audience, which clue do you think is true? One or two? Cheer if you think it's number one. Yeah. Cheer if you think it's number two. Yeah. Well, I only got a medal when I spoke up. So is it someone who was an activist, maybe, or mm. they campaigned and got a medal or something like that? On bikes, aren't there, aren't there things called spokes? There are. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mo, see? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm reading between the lines, Joel. OK. I'm, I'm on it this year. Well, we'll only lift the lid on who's inside when they've been thrown out. Give it up for rubbish, everyone. Oh, my old man. Well, some rubbish. He Head wears the dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. And he lives in a council flat. The panel thought rubbish was the bee's knees. But did they guess correctly? Who do you think's behind the mask? An amazing second performance in the can, but they're going to flip their lid when they find out who I am. The performing first is rubbish. Go on, rubbish. Here's a little story. To tell it is a must. I know this voice. About an unsung hero that moves away your dust. Some people make a fortune, others make a mint. My old man don't earn much. In fact, he's flipping skin. skin. He looks a proper nana in his great big gold milk boots. He's got to the job to pull him up that he calls him Daisy Roots. Some folks get tipped at Christmas and some of them forget. Okay. And when he picks their beans up, he spills him on the step. Now when a man got nasty and to the council wrote, next time my old man went round there, he punched him up the throat. Oh, my old man's a 
dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold barley trousers and he lives in a council flat. He looks a proper nana in his great big old nail boots. He's got such a job to pull him up that he calls him Daisy Roots. Oh, my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold barley trousers and he lives in a council flat. He looks a proper nana in his great big old nail boots. He's got such a job to pull him up that he calls him Daisy Roots. Oh, my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold brimy trousers and he lives in a council flat. Next time you see a dustman hey. looking all pale and sad, don't kick him in the dustbin. It might be why I'm dead. Give it up for rubbish, everyone. Rubbish, everyone! Before the panel decide who will be unmasked, our characters are going to give us one last clue. But the clue could be about them or their opponent. It's just a classic game of it's not me, it's you. Rubbish, what's your vibe, man? My festival vibe? is to go hard or go home. I don't need a break. Panel, do you think that's about rubbish or do you think that's about Jackie Potato? I think that's about rubbish because on a cycle you have breaks. So there's a lot of cyclist clues, again, breaks. Mm. So I think that's about rubbish. OK, it's Jackie Potato's turn. What's your vibe, man? I'm not going to toy with you. My vibes are playful. Playful? Maybe they have been immortalised in some kind of toy Potato head. Yes. That was your final clue of the it's night. Decision time. Rita, can you tell us the name of the masked singer the panel have decided to save? Well, as you know, this is always the hardest part. You were both phenomenal. The Mars Singer we would like to save is... <laughs> Jackie Potato! Oh! Jackie Potato, congratulations, my friend. We will see you again next time. Everybody, give it up for Jackie Potato! <laughs> Give it up for rubbish, everyone. Oh, rubbish! That means your time on The Masked Singer has sadly come to an end. Oh. But before you reveal your identity, panel, of course, who oh. do you think is under there? Mo. <sighs> I'm going to change the last minute. There are the yellow gloves, yellow jersey, Tour de France. I think you are Sir Bradley Wiggins. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Davina, what are you thinking? I'm thinking recycling, reusing. I'm going with J Blades. Okay. Rita Ora. I'm going with just the clues, really. Paddy McGuinness. Some good names. Finally, Jonathan Ross. Oh, he's standing. Oh, you know, no, he's serious when he starts. Go. The triangle on the shape yes. of there, which is like a recycle. The fact that you use the word angles and framed. This is a snooker player, ladies and gentlemen. The balls are blue and pink and yellow and black and oh. blue. I think it is Wani O'Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, if it is now Bradley Wiggins, will you cut that bit out? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Rubbish, who is behind the mask? Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off. Stephen 
Hendrick. Oh, so close. I can't oh, that. <laughs> oh, wow. Go on, Stephen, give yourself a clap. There we go. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh, what, what did you think about crazy guesses until I got close? Well, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was so obvious because obviously, obviously I know it's me. <laughs> The Venus ah. first show, you said something about blue, yeah, pink, the, yellow, the black colours. or something. Yeah. So I thought, wow, they're on the right track. I'm kicking myself. And there was the, the car. What was the racing car about? Grand Prix was my first ranking tournament win. Oh. But I watched Snooker, and that's why I'm furious to myself, because I now realise a clue earlier that I was thinking about. You said again and again and again and again and again and again and seven again. Times. Yes. Seven times. Because you're world champion seven yes. times over. Oh. That's what it is. Tonight's clue or false was about youth, and you were at the time the youngest world champion ever, right? I still am. Still am. Yeah. Still am. Still am. <laughs> yes. I love that, Stephen. <laughs> I think this might be my favourite costume ever Honestly. on the Mars Singer. Yeah, this because is a good one. No one this else has really ever got a costume one. where you've been revealed, but you just look like Stephen Hendry's in a bin. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> did you pick rubbish as a costume? I did, actually. You did? Did yeah. you? Yeah. But you know what? Because I thought, I'm not going to be able to dance very much in this. Yeah, it's clever. Yeah. Oh, it's clever. clever. <laughs> what made you say yes to doing the show? I love the show. Oh. I really do. And it's obviously way at my comfort zone, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Oh, it's yeah. so great. You were absolutely you were so brilliant. Thank you very much. You were so Appreciate fun. Go on up for Stephen Hendry, everybody. Yeah. That's all for tonight. We'll see you again next week for more Mars shenanigans. Up next on ITV, it's Anton Deck's Limitless Win. But now, closing out our Clue Fest 2023, unmasked at last, it's Stephen Hendry. <laughs>